Abandoned parts of a psychiatric center could be made into new affordable homes. At least that's what dozens of Queens residents are hoping. But that is not the only proposal from developers. Yeah, Pick Up Island with Palmer joins us live from Belrose as we talk about what could be next. Well, there was a meeting here at the Cross Island YMCA. We're right across the street from those dilapidated parts of what was the Creedmoor Psychiatric Center campus. Now, the state still owns this property, and they're looking to redevelop 55 acres of it. So exactly how that's going to look was up for discussion tonight. This is what parts of the Creedmoor Psychiatric Center campus look like right now. Crumbling, condemned, and covered in ivy. So could it become this? A planned out community of green spaces, shopping, and affordable homes and townhouses. June Ford is certainly hoping so. It's awful that you love the city and you want to be here, and we have nothing. Ford tells me her son, who is a 31 year old firefighter, and her 23 year old daughter, who is in banking, are both still living at home because they simply can't afford to buy a house in the South Ozone neighborhood where they grew up. They're working. Young people who are ambitious and decent human beings and still can't afford to live on their own. It's sad. Ford attending a meeting at the Cross Island YMCA Thursday night, hosted by the New York Empire State Development, which is taking community input on how to redevelop 55 acres of the more than 100 acre property. Reverend Patrick O'Connor, who runs the First Presbyterian Church in Jamaica, is the co chair of an affordable housing advocacy group called Queen's Power. New York City and people in my congregation are moving out of town because young professionals have no place that they can afford. The meeting packed with union carpenters who want to make sure they're part of the rebuild. The whole point of building union is to uplift the middle class. The middle class is all these members here. They're all from the community. The northernmost part of the property will still be used for the current psychiatric hospital and services for the mentally ill. Different renderings of the rebuild include senior living, green space, townhouses, and single family homes that could be priced in the $500,000 range, much more affordable than in Ford's neighborhood. It's priced out over there. The homes are, the houses are going for a million and $700,000 for a single family. And there are still many, many more steps to all of this. The state, of course, still taking the community input. Then they'll put together that proposal, seek a developer who then has to accept, and there still has to be an environmental study done. So construction here won't start until at least 2025 or even possibly 2026. We are live here in Belrose, Queens. Eileen LaPalmer, PIX11 News.